Hi, it's Zabon1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One. And today I've got a video that may make someone cringe. So I interdict Wolf Morton and we start this fight. And immediately as soon as the fight starts, I can tell something is off, something is wrong. You can genuinely tell if there's something wrong with someone's build or if there's something wrong with their ship very early in a fight. Uh, I remember watching a fight on YouTube between Forged and Modern and I was like, man, modern shields don't seem right. And yeah, lo and behold, he didn't have his boosters on. In this case, Wolf had switched off uh, his shield cell, uh, boosters because he'd put a couple of shield cell banks on there and hadn't done the priority changing and uh, switched one of them off. So he'd uh, accidentally completely demolished his shield strength in one foul sweep, which I could tell as soon as I got full heat beams going at him and his shields are just going down like that. Either I've caught him in an uninjured ship or there's something drastically wrong there. Uh, he did actually come back and we had a bit more of a 1v1, which I'm going to play at two times speed with the Airwolf music because I am that old and the Airwolf music is the coolest theme tune of all time. Well, actually second, I think, behind Jamie and his magic torch. Uh, anyone who disagrees can fight me. Jamie and the magic torch is the best. Uh, Button Moon's third, because Button Moon was a br uh, is brilliant and was written by a Doctor Who and a member of the... Uh, uh, the cast of um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So there we go, trivia as well as combat. Uh, so this is a two times speeded up 1v1. Uh, Wolf went away and corrected his power priorities. Uh, this is something that happens to a lot of people who, uh, what they'll do is they'll engineer some modules and have them switch between ships. So if they get in their FDL, they put the boosters out of storage on their FDL and then they do this and that. There's a lot of people that do that because it saves a lot of engineering time and you can like swap and change parts. The only danger with that is if you swap and change parts in a hurry you can end up doing dumb things. I remember after um, an evening of fighting with Modern up at Shinny he realized he didn't have his huge hardpoint on his FDL uh, and then he remembered that he'd taken it off a week ago and put it on a different ship. Now the really funny part is he'd been fighting 1v1s all week in that FDL and he still hadn't lost that many of them. He thought he was doing badly that week until he realized that he was handicapping himself so much and he was like, oh, actually, I've done really well. Um, so, you know, anyone who lost to Bodman that week, uh, sorry, but yeah, yeah, you, you lost to somebody who didn't even have their huge hard point on. Uh, but this was a fun fight. Uh, this is Gimbal Scrub versus somebody trying their best to use um, fixed weapons. And um, yeah, Gimbaled Old Man Scrub uh, me is uh, you know just gonna orbit and fire beams in your face and uh, try and pee on your shields and uh, yeah had to get all those Xbox notifications out of the way. Uh, I had a couple of fun one v ones. I fought both the Morton boys. Uh, well, actually, I was Scrub was trying to organise the one v one with Cronus Morton as I was fighting Wolf Morton because Cronus didn't know I was fighting Wolf at that time. Uh, so that was quite fun. Uh, I had some fun 1v1s, uh, like I say, be careful when you take your ship out to do combat, make sure you check your power priorities and your ship stats. If you check your ship stats and you notice your shield strength is wrong or not looking as healthy as it, it should be, then you know something's wrong. And if you check your power priorities, you'll know instantly if something's wrong. And like, just do like a spot check, count the number of hard points. It's worth doing if you're someone who swaps and changes your hard points all the time. This is the reason why I don't do that. This is the reason I have all of my ships are bespoke. This is why I have two totally different members because I do not do that because I am disorganized and chaotic and dyslexic and I would always, always forget something and I would constantly be fighting with like absolutely useless half-built ships. Uh, but anyway, that's this 1v1. Uh, Wolf lasted a lot longer with uh, his ship build being correct. That's all for this video. GG's to Wolf Morton and I'll leave it there and say that's all. Thanks for watching.